across the front look again and the next stage and I have decided I am going to put them in full I'll call them the quadrant rafters that fit either side of the corner main rafters um, I can't have them 44 mil apart but it doesn't matter if I do it all equally it will look symmetrical anyway so I've decided to go ahead and I've worked out a way of doing it but basically the main frame of the roof is now in place the other ones to be quite frank or just to make the roof frame look quite nice from inside and two on the outside where the drainage system will be fitted. So I've marked out the quadrant rafters, the quarter sections, which are the sections at the corner. So I'm going to start marking out the little rafters, for the quadrants, and by the quadrants I mean where the corner rafters go down little rafters that fit either side of it so I'm marking them out so they'll all be identical um, I'll fit them they're mainly there just for symmetry on the front where I will put the drainage system and still inside um, the roof section when I look up at the beams so the little rafters either side of the corner rafter I will call them the quadrant rafters Due to the angle on the quadrant rafter, uh, the bird's lip, I'm going to use a multi-tool. Um, I have been using the circular saw on the main rafters, but for the quadrant rafters, um, there's a bit more of an extreme angle there, and the multi-tool is probably a little bit, little bit more appropriate. So let's get on with it. There's a finished article. Um, all that needs to be done now is to be fitted to the corner of the tea house. So let's do it. So what I need to do now is to mark out the angle for the side rafter, the quadrant side rafter, and cut it to shape so it can fit just there. I've placed the quadrant rafter just above the main corner rafter and what I've done I've just used a rule vertically against um, the corner rafter to draw that line and then just scribed directly underneath it as you can see just there all the way down so I'm going to cut that out with the multi-tool then that should slide into place um, obviously what I'll be doing once I've cut that part is to mark out the angle there for the bird's eye or sorry the bird's lip I should say
So the quadrant raft is in place now, so all I'm going to do is just screw it into place. Well that's the final quadrant raft to screw down into place. And that's it. So all I need to do now is put a couple of coats of stain on it because it's a lot easier while the roof is off. And then I'll start with the panelling um, to put that on, after which I'll put the protective membrane on top of the panelling, the roof panelling that is. And I'll get some flashing, seal it all together and then put the slate tiles on top. Okay, it's not going to be insulated, the roof. There's no need, it's just a summer house. But I just want it completely weatherproof more than anything. But before that, the liquor paint, at least two coats I think I'll do. And then we'll have another set of videos for putting the panels on top of the roof. There we are then, that's the first coat of mahogany on the roof. I'll put the other one on tomorrow and the day after I'll start putting the roof panels on. <laughs> 